When wildfires broke out in Australia, a local Laurel resident answered the call to duty by making crochet nests for animals. Diane Mezzanotti has always enjoyed crocheting. I just got hooked on making them because they're just so cute. Recently, she has used her hobby to help displace animals living more than 10,000 miles away in Australia. I was horrified by it. I had visited Australia many years ago, and it's a beautiful country. And just the footage on the news, and it's, it's bad enough that you see that people are losing their homes and everything, but then there's also just totally destroying a large segment of the forest there. In December, Diane was scrolling through Facebook when she saw a message from Crafting for Critters. The group called for knitters and crocheters from around the world to craft pouches and nests for bats, kangaroos, and other animals. That's something I can do while I'm sitting here on my couch. You feel kind of helpless. So you might have a baby kangaroo that's only, you know, a couple inches long, and so they start off with the tiny micro pouches. In January, Diane and the Laurel Branch that she represents will send more than 40 items to Maine to be shipped to Australia, but she says that will soon come to an end. And one of the other nice things about it is Australia has gotten such an overwhelming response from knitters and crocheters and sewers around the world that they just about have everything they need. Since Australia has all their needs met right now, Diane says the group will continue to knit nests and pouches for displaced animals in the local area. I have found, you know, I never knitted a nest before a month ago, and I found that they're very enjoyable. I can do a couple a night, and so I do plan to continue. Because Diane's goal is to give every animal a space, cute, warm and safe. For Laurel TV, so Stephanie Johnson.